Is the TiVo Stream 4K a good 4K streaming device? That's the question we're answering in this TiVo Stream 4K review video. We'll unbox this cheap streaming device and walk you through setup, remote pairing, and using the included apps and TiVo Live TV. Stay tuned to the end where we'll give you our opinion on whether or not it's worth it and how it compares to other streaming devices like Roku, Chromecast, and Amazon Fire Stick. Let's get started with what's in the box. So before you even open the box, you'll see right away that this is running on Android TV. If you're used to Android TV with other streaming devices like Chromecast, you're going to be very comfortable with the setup and layout process. Yep, now let's get to what's inside the box. Once you open it, you will see a TiVo dongle device and a remote. This little boxy device is your portal to all of the most popular streaming services like Disney+, Hulu, HBO Max, Netflix, and Sling TV. We'll show you this when we get into the device home screen, but there is a live TV guide feature that incorporates channels from free services like Pluto TV and TiVo's TiVo Plus free live TV service and Sling TV, which is a paid subscription-based live TV streaming service. For now, let's take a closer look at the remote and dongle device. What's cool about this remote is that it can also power your TV on and off. You can switch between inputs, so if you have an antenna connected to your TV, you can use this remote to switch over to that channel and control the volume and channels as well. The power button at the very top will turn the TV on and off. Then you can see the volume, channel, mute, and guide buttons. Now that guide button controls the live TV guide within the TiVo streaming device. Yeah, now see that silver TiVo button in the top center? Pressing that will launch TiVo Stream and get you to the device home screen. Below that is a selector wheel that you can use to navigate through content on TiVo and in your other connected apps. Then below that, we have a button with colored dots. That's the voice control feature. So you can say things like, OK, Google, open HBO Max, and it will do that, and that's pretty slick. You can also launch Netflix with the push of just one button, which is also nice. That live button also takes you to the live TV guide in TiVo. We're not sure why they provide so many ways to access the guide, but in any event, they did. Yeah, okay, now let's take a closer look at the dongle. There's a USB-C port on the side that you can attach accessories like external storage to, which is nice. And then there's an HDMI cable that plugs into your TV. And finally, a power input at the bottom. So taking a look at all the contents in the box, you'll also get batteries for the remote, a power adapter, and a USB cord to connect it between the wall and the dongle. And you'll get a very slim setup guide. The TiVo Stream 4K costs about $30 right now, and it comes with two gigs of RAM and eight gigs of storage. It streams 4K content at 60 frames per second. When you compare that cost to comparable models from Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and Chromecast, they're all about the same price, within about $10 of each other, with the exception of Chromecast, which is roughly $50. Installing the TiVo Stream device is super easy. You just plug the power adapter into the wall and you connect the HDMI port into your TV. Once you do that, the setup process will begin. TiVo will ask for your language and then it will give you the option to set up with your Android phone. If you have one, we recommend this option as it speeds up the setup process and makes it easier. It will then ask you for your Wi-Fi network and password, will install any updates, and then will walk you through signing into your Google Play or Gmail account and entering your activation code on your phone at TiVo.com. Then you'll walk through three steps. TiVo will ask you questions where it pairs one show against another and asks you to pick one. We did this through about 10 pairs. It helps TiVo make better recommendations on content in its home screen and guide for you. So if you have a few minutes, it's worthwhile. Then after that, you can add TV shows and movies to your My Shows screen, which we'll cover more in a minute, and add streaming services to your TiVo home screen. TiVo integrates about 20 streaming apps into its interface, including all of the most popular ones like Netflix, Sling, HBO Max, Amazon Prime Video, Hulu, Showtime, IMDb TV, Pluto TV, Peacock, Paramount Plus, YouTube, Tubi, and more. 
Yeah, now TiVo aims, as it says on its box, to put shows, movies, and live TV in one easy-to-find spot, and we think it does a pretty good job of that. But before you can get in and start customizing your TiVo experience with your apps and shows, you will need to create a TiVo account. You don't have to enter any payment information, but you do need to provide an email address and set up a password. This is similar to what Roku requires. Exactly. Once you do that, you're ready to launch TiVo Stream and start using it. TiVo launches with a big banner image and some content it thinks you'll like, either from your preferences or because of things it's promoting. Since we're near Halloween right now, we're seeing lots of Halloween titles in our home screen feed. One of the neat things to like about TiVo that you notice right away is that it makes it super easy to see how to watch any given title. Take what we do in the shadows, for instance. Right above the title, you can see that you can watch it through Sling, Hulu, Vudu, Prime Video, or the Google Play Store. Over on the left side is the menu, and from top to bottom it reads Home, Guide, TV Shows, Movies, Sports, Kids, My Services, and Apps. There's also a search function and settings down at the bottom where you can search for anything and access your TiVo account and set parental controls. Everything under Guide is just a way to filter content to titles you're interested in seeing. Where we want to spend some time is in the My Shows and the Guide features because these are the most helpful. Though it is worth noting that you can view all your connected streaming services in the My Services section and you can add more apps in that portion of the menu. And it's also cool that as you filter through different content, TiVo will pull in titles from all the various streaming services it integrates with. So you'll see HBO Max and Netflix titles intermingled with items from free services like Pluto or Tubi. It's pretty cool. Now let's look at that My Shows tab. As you find things that you're interested in, you can add them easily by clicking Add to My Shows, and then they will collect in the My Shows tab. It doesn't matter what app or provider the title is from. TiVo will put it in one handy place for you. Yeah, that is pretty convenient. Now let's look at the guide. Clicking on Guide opens a grid-style guide similar to what is in the Roku Live feature and free services like Pluto TV. It starts with shows from Sling, which you can record right from the guide if you have a Sling subscription. After Sling, it will populate with titles from Pluto TV, and then after that, titles from TiVo TV+. Plus. That includes free channels like Newsy, Cheddar News, FilmRise, and more. You can also favorite channels and filter the guide by different categories if you don't want to see all the channels. So now let's get to our opinion on this streaming device, how it stacks up to the competition, and whether or not it's worth the price. For the price, it is a solid streaming device option. When comparing it to Roku and Amazon Fire, which are similarly priced, we think Roku is the most simple and streamlined, then TiVo, and finally Amazon Fire TV, which can feel a little more cluttered as they are trying to get everything there in their interface. In comparison to Chromecast, we think TiVo wins hands down, as it runs on the same Android TV interface, but can cost up to $20 less. We thought the playback was pretty smooth and that, generally speaking, items loaded fairly quickly. The voice control through Google Assistant and ability to play in 4K and Dolby Atmos was nice, but the search function was a little wonky, especially when searching by voice, so that could be improved. Also, the remote could be improved a bit. There's no pause, rewind, stop, or fast-forward buttons on the remote. You can use the selector wheel for these functions, but not having them labeled is an oversight. Finally, the interface is a little less sleek than competitors like Roku and Fire TV. If you prefer Android TVs and devices, and you want a middle-of-the-road device with live TV integration, and especially if you have Sling TV, this is going to be a solid device for you. We've done a review on Sling TV, so if you're looking for a solid live TV streaming service, watch that video. All right, that does it for this video. Let us know what you think of TiVo Stream 4K in the comments below. Is it worth $30 in your opinion? And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all of our new streaming news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.